All right, folks. So this is a rant. And uh, since the world has devolved into somewhere just this side of complete insanity, I'm going to talk about various things, whether it's the banning of Dr. Zeus books or if it's the appointing of health officials who believe that uh, children should be able to make decisions about their gender without approval of their parents and things like this. Uh, Amazon making sure that its logo doesn't look like Hitler. We'll, we'll talk about all kinds of things like that. So let's start out with talking about how it is easier to dupe people than it is to convince people that they've been duped. So have you been believing total nonsense? I, there's a distinct possibility that you may know people who've been believing complete nonsense. What is up with that? How come it's easier to convince people of the nonsense than it is to show them the actual facts and convince them that they've been fooled? It's very strange. Why is that a thing? It's horrifying. And here at the Smash News Network, we like to expose these sorts of things because, well, let's just say in certain places, such as, oh, I don't know, YouTube, Google AdSense revenue payouts, we're seeing people making six figures, taking photographs of lens flare and claiming that those are UFOs, taking photographs of light projected through water droplets and, and proclaiming that those are plasma discharges and all sorts of other ridiculous, frankly, crap like this. So if you've noticed, about half of the global population has been fooled by total and complete nonsense Leave us a comment with your favorite covid idiotic story. How come there are zero detected cases of the flu in the UK this winter? Don't you find that a little strange, folks? Zero detected cases of the flu. So is that because COVID has cured the flu? How, how is that a thing? I'm just asking a question, not putting out any medical misinformation. I would never do such a thing because, hey, Governments and corporations, and indeed other YouTube channels, are perfectly capable of putting out plenty of misinformation and disinformation for all of us. In other news, a very progressive idea by Liz Warren Elizabeth Warren, senator from, is it New Hampshire? Great idea. Let's end the filibuster. So Liz Warren talking about a couple days ago how we need to end the filibuster, except one little problem. And this is what we see happen all the time. When the political environment doesn't suit your current needs, you want to change the entire system. And then as soon as the system is changed, and the power changes, you notice that, whoops, we got rid of some aspect of the political system that we needed in place. What is up with that? Real progressive. Let's end the filibuster because it suits us now. Will it suit us in the future? Certainly not. It'll be used against us in the future. But we don't like to think ahead. We just like to do what feels good now because Hey, if it feels good, it must be good. Who cares about the unintended consequences? Unintended consequences are totally irrelevant. Who cares about that? For example, uh, the unintended consequences of that. I mean, yeah, if the cure is worse than the disease, folks, we don't administer the cure. That's just, uh, that's basic. That's, you don't need to be a PhD in anything to know that if the cure is worse than the, than the disease, you don't administer the cure. So for example, if I sprain my wrist, I don't generally amputate my arm in order to heal a sprained wrist. Let me get rid of this. Get that out of here. In other news, 
We've got more things to rant about here, so stay tuned. By the way, if you feel like you're at your breaking point, hold on. Some of us care more about individuals, and some of us view you as more than a vote, a group, a demographic, a vaccine recipient, or a compliant covid -iot. And since love overrules all of the nonsense, we love every single one of you viewers out there. So what's in your heart? Is it hate and nonsense, or is it love? Because that is really what makes the world go round, folks. Whether you think it's, oh, you think it's money, or you think it's power, or you think it's something like that, there are alternatives to all of the nonsense. Quick note here about, I don't know if Dr. Levine has been confirmed yet as Assistant Health Secretary of the U.S., but from what, I, from what I've been hearing, uh, I, I don't know. As, has the confirmation happened yet? Dr. Levine uh, apparently is all for children being able to be administered with uh, puberty-blocking medication and gender reassignment surgery without the consent of their parents. So we'll see what happens with that. That should be very, I'm sure, what could possibly go wrong, folks? What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Great idea. Uh, it's the second, the second largest covid in Pennsylvania uh, in the process of being confirmed as assistant health secretary. Why? Because she represents boxes that are checked. Dr. Levine, Dr. Levine, Rachel Levine, formerly known as Richard Levine and former NCAA linebacker, has been chosen to be assistant health secretary. Why? Because we need to have somebody who's transgender because diversity is much more important than competence. Moving on to more rants. You, by the way, you may have heard Rand Paul posing some questions about the topics that I've just referred to. Should the government override should the government decide whether or not a child gets his gender reassigned? What do you think? Leave us a comment. I like Awaken with JP, the YouTube channel, who suggests, how about if we override the child's gender without consent of the child either? How about that? Do you think people under the age, do you think people who are too young to consent to sex should be allowed to consent to gender reassignment. What do, you, what do you think? You think that's a good idea? So it's, it's, it's just a huge case of identity politics, folks. I don't understand what the reasoning behind it is other than that, oh, we need to have somebody who's transgender. Also, what do you think about biological males, people with XY chromosomes, competing in women's sports? We'll probably have more on that later. And speaking of moron, Kamala Harris. Here's a quote from Kamala Harris. We've always fought for equality, but now we are talking much more rightly about equity. The goal is truly about equity. It has to be about a goal of saying everyone should end up in the same place. Yeah, everyone should end up in the same place. What the heck is she talking about? She makes no sense. She's incoherent. Everybody should end up in the same place. Who would come up with, what, what's that? Oh, Karl Marx came up with that idea. Yeah. Anyway, Kamala, you keep that hand basket. I'm not interested in taking a ride in that. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, all of these are from Twitter posts. It's twitter.com slash smash mash. History will not look fondly on the pathetic, infantile, ineffective, ridiculous, and nonsensical response to COVID-19, the economic damage it unnecessarily caused, nor the arrogant, pathetic, the arrogant, pathetic delusion that we're controlling the virus. You're not controlling the virus. Masks and lockdowns have shown to be ineffective. When we look at the data about 
the performance of areas that had masks and lockdowns and the areas that didn't have masks and lockdowns, we see the exact same type of chart. So if you can explain that, please leave us a comment. Let us know what that is supposed to be all about. It makes zero sense. By the way, we love the former nation, the United States, and we have great disdain for the Banana Republic, which replaced her. The whole world is laughing at what used to be a country, formerly the nation of the United States. So now it's just the home of naive COVID idiots and compliant spineless fools. Jeffrey Tucker says 90% of life today is ridiculous. The preposterous things that people do, the rules, the enforcements, the pretending, the fake science, the compliance with nothingness, it's all preposterous. Tens of millions of people are going to feel like absolutely idiots in a few years, which sounds similarly to a post that I wrote last night. I used to tell people relocate to the former nation, now Banana Republic of America, now not. I know parts of the world are free. I'm just not in one of them. We need an accountability. We need a year of accountability, actually, not another year of COVID idiocy. So let that one sink in. 2021, year of accountability. Last year was the year of clarity, as we forecasted on the channel. 2021, we're forecasting to be a year of accountability, and we intend to do our part in order to provide accountability. And I've got some projects that I'm working on. I won't be able to divulge them in this video. Look for future videos for me talking about that, how we will be making sure certain parties are accountable for their pathetic and indefensible actions in the year 2020 and indeed continuing into the year 2021. So yes, what we need is accountability, folks, accountability. Following a year of clarity, that's what you're supposed to have. And it would only make sense. Next, let's talk about science. First of all, the universe is not electric. Stars are not electric. If everything was electric, we wouldn't need the term electric. So when the observations don't back up your imaginations, your imaginations are devising incorrect theories. The universe is not electric. Stars are not electric. Deal with it. Stop believing nonsense. Also, if you paint yourself in a corner in science, if you find that you've painted yourself into a corner, get out of the corner. You don't have to wait for the paint to dry. Just track wet paint into the rest of the area. It's okay. Admit that you made a mistake. Get ahead of it. And don't double down because when you double down, what happens is your misrepresentation, if you actually believe the nonsense that you were saying in the first place, becomes what we call fraud. Yes, the difference between misrepresentation and fraud, folks, is very simple. You can misrepresent things just by being incorrect about them. If you actually believe nonsense and you tell other people about it, that's misrepresentation. However, once you realize that the nonsense is nonsense and you keep propagating it, it becomes fraud. So I used to be the owner of an insurance agency. I'm well aware of what fraud is because in the realm of financial services, salespeople commit fraud constantly by intentionally misrepresenting all kinds of things. It's why I'm not in the field anymore because it's extremely, extremely unsavory. So don't allow your misrepresentations to turn into fraud, folks, when you realize that you are incorrect about something, just admit it, don't double down, don't try to gaslight people who've exposed your nonsense. So what else here? Oh, the left still can't meme. Did you love the former nation of America? Leave us a comment. Yeah, the left still can't meme. The left is still grasping at straws. And uh, yeah. Do better. Do better, leftists. We know you're not all complete COVID idiots. You should be able to meme. Create some original material. I mean, this, this, uh, you, you're, putting up, you're putting up other people's memes that are incoherent in the first place and thinking that they're funny, it's just a joke. I mean, I, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, it seems people that, and by the way, I'm not right wing. 
A lot of people think I'm right wing. Uh, it's just that there is so much, so much material being created by left wing people that there's there's a there's a plethora of material out there. By the way, CPAC stage doesn't look like a swastika. Just a little on that. CPAC stage does not look like a swastika. And even if somebody was trying to glorify the swastika, they would not make a stage that looks like a swastika because what happens on a stage, people walk on it. So if you're trying to elevate some symbol as some sort of a holy symbol, uh, central to your ideas about Nazism or whatever, you wouldn't have people walking on it. You would make a statue, you would hang it on the wall. Why would you have people walking on top of your holy symbol? You ever see a stage made in the shape of a cross by Christians? Of course not. They don't want to be walking on a cross. So th this is just total nonsense. Why would they do that? It's absolutely ridiculous. And even if they were proponents of the swastika, they would not make a stage out of a swastika that would cause people to be treading on their, quote, holy symbol, end quote. What a crock. What else do we have? Does anybody actually follow us on Twitter? Let us know in the comments. We're also on Facebook, Minds, Gab. We're all over social media. Check us out. You can find all of our links at smashamash.com as well as other contact information. Here's some more words of wisdom. Don't be irreplaceable. If you're irreplaceable, you can't be promoted. Let me say that again. Don't be irreplaceable. If you're irreplaceable, you can't be promoted. Now, I, I understand that if you're a business owner, you are irreplaceable. However, if you're an employee, don't be irreplaceable. If so, you can't be promoted. Next, let's talk about the cheap, fast, and good Venn diagram. Cheap, fast, and good. You can't have all three, but you can have two. So take your pick. If you would like it to be fast and good but not cheap, it's going to be expensive. It'll fall in this range. If you'd like it to be good and cheap, it's going to be slow. And if you'd like it to be fast and cheap, it's not going to be any good. So notice how they don't overlap on this part. If your boss expects you to be in the cheap, fast, and good range, your boss is delusional. You may not have all three. Every, product man every project manager is well aware of this Venn diagram. And if they're not, they're not worth their weight in dog turds. Because you can't have all three. It's either going to be good and fast and expensive, good and cheap and slow, or fast and cheap and bad. Those are your choices. Deal with it. By the way, last summer, I nearly became less antisocial, although now I've become extra misanthropic. So I became less antisocial for about five minutes last summer when it looked like lockdowns and mask mandates would end here in Pennsylvania. However, well, that was in something like July or maybe August, and that didn't happen. So instead of being more antisocial, instead of being less antisocial, I've now, I think, become more antisocial and indeed more misanthropic. So that's, that's great. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, but I can absolutely feel my misanthropic tendencies all the time. And that's what covid does. Ineffective measures that destroy economies are not mitigating nor controlling a virus. They're expanding wealth and income inequality, and the answer is not more government, since the government directly caused these problems in the first place. By the way, for all of you folks out there who are anti-capitalism, you've never experienced it. Capitalism was abolished in 1913. When the Federal Reserve Act was signed into law, the largest block of business became artificially controlled by banks. That's right, the interest on international and corporate loans is the largest block of business in the world. And if there's no free market on the largest block of business in the world, you're not experiencing capitalism. You're experiencing what we call a corporatocracy. So just putting that out there, since it's also the truth, the Federal Reserve Act signed on December 23rd, 1913 by Woodrow Wilson has abolished capitalism. You're not experiencing it. You've never experienced it unless you were alive before 1913 when the largest block of business 
the interest on corporate and international loans is artificially adjusted by a cartel of banks, that is a corporatocracy. That is not capitalism. So for all the people out there who are like, capitalism is evil, the vestiges of capitalism that still remain have pulled billions of people out of fourth world poverty status. We need actual capitalism, which means end the Fed. What's going on with Andrew Cuomo? He became the world's top mass murderer as a result of New York's nursing home policies. And now women are coming out and there he's getting me tooed. Yes, Cuomo is getting me tooed. What do you have to say about that? America's, I think he might be America's least favorite governor finally, proving that apparently sexually harassing staff is really bad, but causing the deaths of tens of thousands of senior citizens in nursing homes is just eh, no big deal. By the way, if you'd like to post a hypothesis about the grand solar minimum on our forum, you can find a link there in the heliospheric forum, the heliospheric forum, the sun forum, about the sun, covering heliospheric stuff, heliophysics, right? Smashomash.com slash forum. There's a the sun forum there. We've started a new thread about the, quote, grand solar minimum, end quote. Please leave us a comment on there. Just set up a login. It's all free right now. By the way, uh, shout out to Governor Tom Wolf. Please restore the rights that you never had a legitimate authority to remove in the first place. And also please resign, retire, and relocate to Mars. I heard it's lovely this time of year. Tom Wolf, please relocate to Mars. By the way, Amazon has quietly adjusted its app icon. Why? Well, because you got to make it look less like Hitler. So there you go. Thanks, Amazon. Oh, you're saving the world. Look at that. Oh, geez. Everything is not Hitler, folks. So this apparently, oh, you got me, Zero Hedge. This apparently looks like Hitler, but this doesn't look like Hitler. Everything is not Hitler. Let me, let me just say it a third time. Not everything is Hitler. Hitler was Hitler, but Hitler was the only thing that was Hitler. Everything's not Hitler. And um, I don't know, deal with it. Deal with reality that everything is not Hitler. Everybody that thinks Trump is Hitler doesn't know anything about Trump or Hitler. Stop displaying your ignorance and your covidiacy by thinking everything is Hitler. That means you, Amazon. What are you talking about? Oh my God, our app looks just like Hitler. Last but not least, we've also pinned a poll on our Twitter page. It's twitter.com slash smash a mash. Go there and answer our poll, please. Sign up for a Twitter account just to answer our poll because we have an upcoming video about cults. So hypothetically, it's a hypothetical question, folks. If you're in a cult, do you believe nonsense because you think the nonsense will benefit outsiders or do you believe nonsense and propagate nonsense just to recruit other cultists? Let us know in the poll. That's today's rant. I guess I'm done. Oh, one last thing. My own mom doesn't watch the videos. Yes, she thinks she's doing us some kind of a favor. She, it's like pulling teeth to get her to watch a video that has nothing to do with politics. She's got Trump derangement syndrome and practically every conversation devolves into something about politics. I have no idea what she's talking about half the time. For instance, when I brought up the banning of Dr. Zeus books yesterday, she started talking about how she doesn't recognize the Republican Party anymore, as if the Republican Party is banning books. So that's today's rant. I'm going to close this thing out. This is We're going to have this one in the Smash Lights playlist. Go watch other videos in the playlist. You may learn something about some news stories that you may not have otherwise known. Don't, don't forget to press like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Leave us a comment and uh, share with your friends and foes on social media. We'll see you soon for the Daily Space Weather. Thanks for tuning in. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. Smash-O-Mash, smashomash.com.